Hey everybody, it's Brandon, The Weekend Cruiser, where I go on a weekend cruise just about every weekend. And this weekend is pretty special. Number one, I've got my friend Pam's birthday party this weekend on the cruise ship. And I've also got my 1400 uh, Crown and Anchor milestone that I'm gonna be achieving. So we're gonna have a small little celebration about that this afternoon. But we decided to splurge and get a overwater cabana here at the Coco Cay Beach Club at Coco Cay. Now this place is amazing. It is very relaxing and it has been a beautiful day here at Coco Cay. Amazing breeze, not too hot. Sometimes when you're inland, the water gets, or the heat gets way too much because there's another breeze over there, but here it's been absolutely beautiful. So I want to give you a tour of the overwater cabana number 16. So you'll know what to expect if you're getting a cabana and making that splurge as well. So when you get one of the overwater cabanas, the first thing you're gonna notice is your name is going to be on it. They're gonna let you know that this is yours. So it is a pretty neat thing to walk up and see your name on this. You have paid good money for it. It better be on there. Now this cabana is gonna look a little bit used. We have used it all day today and everybody just went back to the room. So I'm taking this moment to film and show you what all is here. So the first thing I'll say is this couch is my favorite place to hang out and to relax. Um, it is plenty big. You can even lay down and take a nap on it. I know there's a lot of couples that'll come out here and get this just to themselves. I think that it is a great couch. So if you are a large group, you can fit up to 10 people in an overwater cabana. This is where you're gonna do that at. Down here, you're gonna have uh, extra plates and different storage items for um, your a cabin or cabana attendance. So you're gonna have somebody dedicated just to helping you out. You're also gonna have a full sound system here. So if you wanna just turn this on, um, you can adjust the volume, you can hit the pair button. It works really well. There is one speaker up here at the top um, that does a really good job. And interestingly enough, we never seem to have a lot of um, bleed from the other cabanas that are here. Let me pan over and just show you, this is the safe. So if you do bring some things in here that are more sensitive in nature that you wanna make sure nobody's gonna take, that is a great place to store it. And then over here, you're gonna have just a little um, shower closet. So if you wanna shower after getting in the water potentially, this is gonna be the place that you do that. It is absolutely nothing special, but it is um, here. You're gonna have a little mirror over here as well. Hey everybody, my hair's a little windblown today. Hopefully my sunglasses is holding that back. An umbrella if you uh, get caught in the rain on the way back. You're gonna have a sink. Your trash is gonna be directly beside of that or underneath that. And you're gonna have a little fridge over here that's gonna have all the goodies that you can um, drink and order. These do count towards your drink coupons or as a drink. If you have a drink package, it's gonna be absolutely fine. Um, but your cabana attendant will need your uh, saving card to make sure that all of that is working correctly. But they'll take care of it. If you want frozen drinks or anything, they are running back and forth to the bar. Um, so they are coming very frequently. You have two mats over here. So if you do wanna float around a little bit, this is a great place to grab a mat and just hang on to the side, I would say. The current today has been pretty strong, so um, I'm not sure that we enjoy the water today as much as we normally do, just cause it pulls you away. Some people even came by and came up on our deck. They're like, we can't make it back to our cabana. And so they stopped here with us. You're also gonna have a neat little water slide over here. So you see that there is a bucket directly below that. That is gonna be, so you can put water on this slide. It doesn't have that running water that you normally find on slides. So make sure that you do that to have a little bit better experience. We don't want you um, getting your skin damaged of any kind. You're gonna have these wonderful chairs here. So this is where I traditionally sit at, is in the shade or in the sun in one of these little lounge chairs. Um, be careful on adjusting any lounge chair. We don't want you to get your fingers caught on that. And you're gonna see here, this is where they keep the water. So if you just simply pop this up, I can do it one-handed, you'll see that they keep a bucket full of ice water in there. So don't just think that that's pretty decoration. Um, it is actually where your water is gonna be. On this side over here, you'll have a little bit of a net. This is where one of my friends loves to hang out so that she can enjoy, get some sun, and it's actually quite comfortable. Just be careful of that in there because it does get a little bit slippery and don't want you falling in the water. You've also got two really nice chairs over here. This is where, um, you know, some people like to sit as well. I think that they personally can sit two people, but it's really comfortable for just one person. All right, everybody, this is Brandon, the Weekend Cruiser, showing you the floating overwater cabana number 16 here at the Coco Cay Beach Club. This is an amazing time. If you want to splurge, if you got people that you can split it with, or maybe it's just a special occasion that you want to celebrate, this is a great place to do that. Um, and this is Brandon, the Weekend Cruiser.
Hoping to see you on a weekend cruise soon.